here we are on YouTube homepage. So head over on the search bar and search how to download YouTube video for free. All right, as you can see here, this video has over 3.9 million views. This video also has 1.9 million views. This video also has more than 2.1 million views on YouTube. This video also has 6.4 million views. However, here is the bad news for this. When you use an online video downloader to download a video, you may face the danger of your personal information being stolen by somebody. What? Yeah, some of the app may contain malware. So, what shall I do? Please wait, here is the good news. Why not you are going to create your own YouTube video downloader that enables to download any YouTube video for free. Here is how. In this project, we are going to create an incredible, straightforward, efficient and safe YouTube video downloader using Python. So what are you waiting for? Here is the final demo for this project. In this project, the user copy YouTube video URL that they want to download and simply paste that URL in this link entry box and then click on the download button right here. It will start downloading the video. When video downloading finishes, it shows a message download completed successfully pop up on the window below the download button. That's it. Alright, congratulations, finally I did it. I have just prepared a course that teaches you how to master Python programming by doing real world projects just like this one. I put the course link inside this video description. So what are you waiting for? Please enroll today. Having said that, now let's jump right into the first Python project that enables you to download any YouTube video for free. Let's dive right into it. Alright, to create this application, we have six steps. Step 1, install the necessary module. Step 2, import the library needed to make this application, step 3, create the API window, step 4, create the link entry widgets, step 5, create the download button, and then finally, step 6, we are going to make this download button functional, that's it. Alright, as always, now we are going to create a file name right here inside this Python Pro folder, so let me say video underscore downloader.py and then as always now let me install the necessary module so click this terminal and then click new terminal after that this console will display so here we have and then after that we are going to order the pip package manager to install the necessary module for this we need to have PyTube. As you can see here, the installation process is begin. Alright, now the installation completed successfully. So we have just finished step number one. Now let's jump right into step number two. Import the library needed to make this project. So from here we need to have two module the first module is the kinter module from the kinter import everything we are going to import everything from the kinter module and then from pytube we are going to import youtube that's it now we have just completed step number two 
Now let's jump right into step number three. We're going to create the API window or the display window. So first we're going to create an instance or an object for the TK class right here. Here is a variable, let me say root, you can say any name as you want, you can say root, you can say app, you can say window, it is up to you, right? For me, I say root equals to tk, then using this object root, we are going to set the dimension for this window. So here we have root dot geometry, and then the width and the height equals to 350 pixel so again we are going to make this window to place in its position so root dot resizable zero 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 means false false it is a boolean value which represents that false false it makes the window not to be stretched and also not to be shrink to place in its position so again we are going to set the background color for this display window so to do this we need to have root.config and then bg equals to p after that we are going to set the title for this window so to do this we have root.title and youtube video downloader app after that outside of this root dot main loop this controls the window from exiting quickly so after that now let me run this program instead of link entry it is also a text entry widget so now we have just finished step number three now let's jump right into step number four create a text in a link entry widget so to do this we are going to use first we are going to use this label widget and pass this object root right here and then text let me say download youtube video for free and then now font here we have font family area font size 40 and font weight bold and then using the Kinter geometry manager right here in this case i'm going to use place method so make the position in x y coordinate so from here we are going to set the position in x and y coordinate so x equals to 100 and y equals to 10 so after that copy this and paste right here and then the only thing expected from you is to change this text and the value of x and the value of y paste your favorite link here and let me remove this font weight it's not necessary and then now let me add a background color for this so bg equals to you can add any color that you interested in so let me say ping and we are going to add fg which represents foreground it is the text color or the font color so now x equals to 120 and y equals to 50 so this beginner geometry manager uses to align this label widget in x and y coordinate system and then we are going to create a link entry widget so to do this first we are going to create a variable right here let me say video link and then equals to string var so this accepts the data having a string character so using this entry widget now we are going to pass this root object now we are going to set the width for this link entry box width equals to 80 and text variable so we are going to pass this video link 
that's it and now let me set the alignment using dot plate method x equals to 35 and y equals to 85 so now when I excuse the program click on terminal and click on new terminal after that here is the console so python here is the file name video underscore downloader dot py here we have as you can see here here is the link entry box all right having a nice background all right we have just successfully finished step number four now let's jump right into step number five which is we are going to create the download button so to create this download button as always we are going to use this button widget and then root after that text let me say download now which is the name of the button so we are going to make font area and font size 60 and font weight bold and then we are going to set the background color for this button so to do this we need to have bg equals to red and then padding x equals to 2 this padding x means the keyword argument is to say the padding along x-axis whereas padding y means the keyword argument is to say the padding along the y-axis so now dot place x equals x equals to 180 and y equals to 120 so now we have just successfully finished this button now let me run the program click over this terminal and the new terminal after that this will this console will display then python here we have file name video underscore downloader dot py and press enter here we have so now what we are going to do is we are going to make this download button functional so to do this we are going to jump right into the final step step number six so it should be step number five the function should be placed first before the button to make it functional so now let, let me create a function here we have download video so from here in order to assign the function you can use either snake case you can use either pascal case or you can use either camel case in this case i've just used camel case method so now let me declare a variable right here url and then here we have youtube so now here we have convert this into string character str then we're going to pass this video link right here and then using get method get dot get so from here again we have we're going to declare a variable let me say video stream so now here is the variable url dot then we have streams dot first and parenthesis after that using this variable video stream dot download so now over here again we are going to make another label widget right here now change the text this label widget shows when the download is performed successfully so this when the download is finished download completed successfully message is going to be displayed as soon as the download process is finished as soon as the download process is finished this message will be displayed now we are going to make an alignment right here using dot place x equals to 180 and y equals to 120 having a background color green and a foreground color white so now using this function name 
and come over here for a button and we are going to call this function over here inside the button so using command having a value of the function name download video that's it as you can see here here is the destination folder we are going to make this as a destination folder for the downloaded video so copy this destination and come over here and paste right here so as you can see here here is the destination folder where the download video is placed so now we are going to make an alignment right here for this message so we are going to change this y and instead of 120 we are going to say 180 all right now we are going to make an alignment right here x 120 y 180 so now python video da underscore downloader here we have a file name downloader.py and click enter here we have the final app that enables to download any youtube video for free as you can see here here is the destination folder copy this link copy this link and paste right here and as you can see here there is no video inside this folder so when i click this link this download button it says download completely successful here is the video the video downloaded successfully download completed successfully now we have just finished this project you can download any two video for free using this application if you have an interest to create a fantastic applications just like this one i'm waiting you inside the course thank you for watching i will see you in the next project